Has anybody told you that you're perfect? Has anybody told you that you're worth it? Did they have a baby? I apologize for them. I apologize for Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a long time I have put anything out there. I've just been moving places and it's um, not uh, been easy to get my ring lights down here and everything. So that's why it's been a little bit challenging for me to uh, bring up a video for you guys. But today I decided that I have my ring light, I have my perfect timing, I'm not working. I'm like, yes, I have to shoot out something for everyone. And um, I might be talking funny, but that's because I just had a root canal on my teeth, uh, on one of my tooth. Um, I completed the root canal yesterday, so I'm still talking a little bit funny because it's still a little bit achy. So, and um, yeah, if you want to see how I achieve this beautiful, amazing look, uh, you have to keep on watching. And before I go, I just wanted you guys to know that this hair, it's, um, it was crocheting. You guys know that I have my hair cut on this side. So I crocheted in this one and because it's not so puffy and so full, so I decided to just put it up in a bun and just leave out some little pieces here. I hope it's good. So if you guys want to um, see how I achieve this beautiful look, just keep on watching. Until I see you next time. Bye. Just basically me prepping my eyebrows with my Becca uh, primer. I always prep my eyebrows before I prep my whole face because I like my brows mattified. So I usually brush my brows and, you know, put in my pencil. This pencil has been with me since like forever. I love it. Sorry that it's short. And my pronunciation is going to be funny because of my tooth. Like I said, I had a root canal and it's still sore. I will just be completing my eyebrow off camera and I will show you guys an extensive video soon of my brow routine. This is me mattifying my concealer with my powder. This step is very important in order to avoid your eyeshadow from creasing. So you have to mattify the concealer. I'll be using the BH Cosmetics um, warm palette or something. I can't remember what the name of this palette is at this time, but... I will be showing you guys all the colors it doesn't have a name but just this color right here to deepen um, my crease and this is going to be my transition color i'm going back in with my nubian 2 palette and this beautiful orange color right here i will also be using that to um transitioned and it's just a way for me to have like my brows like um my eyeshadow really popping and i'm just highlighting under my brows now just to give it that pop that look you know and i'll just blend it out with this beautiful brush that i cannot remember where i got it from for real i can't even remember so that's i used to deepen my outer v that's just what i'm doing using that color from the Nubian 2 to deepen my outer V. So from this um, beautiful palette right here, Saharan 2, I'll be using this dark color to also further darken my crease, um, my outer V and half of my crease. This serves as, you know, it just makes it deeper and more beautiful. With my flat brush, I will be going in with this um, NYX Jumbo Pencil, I'll be using it to cut my crease. I'm not necessarily cutting the crease. I'm just actually, I'm not necessarily cutting the crease, like I said. I'm just actually just um, putting it so that my eyeshadow can have something to stick on. Basically, that's why I will be putting it in. And like I said, in all my videos, I always tap in my eyeshadow. I always tap it in just so that it can stick on like i said and i will be using this beautiful shade right here to highlight my tear dot using this flat brush um no it's not flat actually it's a round blending brush that i bought from elf i'll be going in with my nubian palette one to deepen my crease 
Going back in with that burgundy that I used from my Saharan Tomb palette, I just wanted to define and give my face more definition. Mattifying my face now with my Becca primer that I used earlier for my brows. And I'm just doing this step because I had a lot of fallout. That's why I'm highlighting before my foundation. And I'll be mixing my both foundations, Sephora and Fenty together. And then I apply with this tiny brush before I actually apply with my main brush. Girl, I want to know if this your love is for real. Girl, I want to know oh, oh, if this your love is for real. Because I now highlighting my brows and i usually don't use foundation um sorry concealer for this step i use my foundation same color just to make it look as natural as possible that's why i do this some people use concealer it depends if it works for you fine but for me i prefer to use my foundation then it blends in smoothly and gives it a nice finish Mattifying your highlighter uh, is very important, especially when you use concealer, cream concealers. It's really important and it does not give you flashback when you take pictures. This step is very important. I can't emphasize it enough. It's very important to blend after uh, highlighting and contouring. Blend with your powder with a powder brush. It's very, very important. So that's just my blush. I'm going in to blush out my life for the haters. For net, you are pop, even to the palafa wahala, but a pata for the matter we go still covet. You my choice when I blow, you go right for my voice, baby. Hold me. You know I love you to death. I go buy you everything you request, push your bags, cover you and go spa. Maybe so far you stay, I know what from Naja we cruise at Tokyo. Could be say I go take you around the world. I'm moisturizing my lips with Vaseline. This is just pure Vaseline, there's nothing in it, just to moisturize my lips before applying my lip pencil this lip pencil is my ever favorite the only one I'm, I'm addicted to yeah you all know it and i'm trying to give an ombre effect so i'm putting a black pencil over that mac pencil that i just used and i'm using my fenty red lipstick so you guys know that this lipstick is very wet until it's dried so i am fanning it so it can get dried and i can add another coat of um lipstick and pencil just for that ombre look effect that we are gunning for mark my word you know go ever bored then never get to just for the girl you know if this your life is for me this next um lip color i can remember it's a lilac light pinkish purplish i don't know i just wanted to i didn't i did not want to have like pure red so i just wanted to use that as you know just to try out how that was gonna look like then i cleaned up my lips and highlights the f out of my face and girl is popping all right love you guys bye we like in London boys, I get you fine fine girls. They just want 18 yeah.